All right, today we're looking at how to combine pages into an InDesign document. So how do I get a whole bunch of these InDesign documents that I have for various reasons? And how do I go ahead and get them all into one single document? I'm going to go through this very quickly, and then I'm going to recap it at the end for those who just want the quick answer. Now, obviously, before I go on, there is important to note that there is a book panel. So if you're a brand new user and you're trying to take a bunch of InDesign documents and make a PDF or something like that, you can combine using this book feature and uh, export to PDF. So you're going to want to look up a video about using the book panel. But there's a lot of reasons, and I have them all the time, where I need to just combine a bunch of InDesign documents. And there's no quick way to do it. Well, it is actually a quick way, but it's just not a shortcut. They do sell scripts and people will try to get you to buy stuff, but it really takes just a moment to put about 100 pages together, so it's really not worth spending money on it. The way that I do it is pretty simple. So I'm going to open up the main page that I want all of my documents to come together on. I will usually file Save As and create a new name, like you know the master document, and if I was putting the page numbers, I might put the page numbers on here. You know, and I can always change that later. It's just what I do personally. The page numbers that you save the document as up here really don't mean anything. Uh, InDesign uh, establishes the page numbers right here in the book panel, which you can easily change by clicking this itty bitty little arrow key right there, and you can change the starting page number here on any document. So really, what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up my master document. This is one that I'm going to want to fill this this pages up right here. So I'm going to then come back over to my uh, files, and I'm going to go ahead and grab a whole bunch of these files, and I'm going to right click, and I'm going to um, I'm going to go ahead and open. See so that little open button right there appears. Uh, to, you know, depending on what you're using, I would just highlight, open them all up at once, let InDesign open them, and if you have them in order, this will be the fastest way to go. So. If you open them in the order you want to put them together, uh, it makes it a lot easier. So um, I'm going to go ahead and begin over here. I see this page in the Pages panel. It's uh, highlighted already. Both pages are here by default. If I right click, I'm going to click Move Pages. And I'm going to say, well, where do you want to move these pages? Well, I want to move them to my master page list that I just made, 140 to 170. And it's naturally going to put it at the end, so after the last page. So I say, OK. I click on the next page, I come over here, it's already highlighted, I right click move page, I down click here, I go back to that same file that I want to put them to, and I hit OK. And that's basically what you do, and you just keep on doing that, and actually once you get a little rhythm going, you can do that pretty quickly, and you don't really have to think about it much at all. Um, obviously, you know, you can come into situations where if you don't have all your files opened in order, it can be confusing. Uh, also, too, like for example, like this, let's say I have a four page document here. I will have to hold down shift and highlight the rest of this. And then if I come here to move pages, it's going to move all four of these pages into this document, my master document. And I'm going to hit OK. And it's just going to keep moving them down. Now, um, basically, when I finish moving them all in there, they have been renumbered. So if you actually numbered your pages correctly, uh, the pages will have uh, shifted to be the correct uh, page. At least see right here is coming after page 163. So this page is now going to be called 164. So just kind of keep that uh, in mind when you're combining documents together. So now I have my documents here combined. It, but something that occurs when you do this is it does create these section breaks, which can be really annoying. So the page numbers are not actually in line. Well, this could actually be helpful if you weren't actually adding all of your pages together at one time together um, and you weren't putting them in order. You can now order your pages by just grabbing them, and, you know, moving them around until you get all your pages in the correct order. You can just simply drag and drop these pages kind of where you want them to be. And then once you have them in the correct order, you can get rid of these section breaks and have them uh, be renumbered if you want that as well. In this case, I want to renumber this. So this just says page 158, but it's really not. I really want it to be, uh, this is page 161. I want this to be 162, 163, and then this page will be 164. So the way to do that is just to get rid of this little arrow up here at the top. So if I hover over that little arrow on top of that page, I'm just going to hit delete section. And it's just going to go ahead and, and renumber all of those pages for me. And then you got to get right on that arrow. 
sometimes you got to be really specific about it and I delete all these sections and all my pages are now together in one document I can jump to them uh, I can resave these now and I don't need all these other documents that I do have open so I can go ahead and save that and as you can see the page numbers have renumbered to be correct alright thank you so much